Hello my friends, Sakuya here, and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn video. That is right my friends, many of you were demanding that we return back to the modern day mod that pits all of the great powers of the world like India and Fiji against one another whatever monstrous spirit has taken over Venezuela. But I've seen some comments in my previous videos that I definitely approve of. It is no secret for anyone who has seen any of my previous Millennium Dawn videos that what we usually end up trying to do is first balance our economy, because you know modern states being capable of actually doing that in the first place, and then afterwards go about peacefully acquiring our neighbors. Peacefully. But what if we did that in a way that was definitely not so peaceful? What if we actually made an attempt to really start World War III and destabilize everything all in the name of securing peace? Nope, we're not the United States. Nope, not this round. We're going with Iran, baby. With a man who looks like what would happen if Toad converted to Islam. Since the Iranian Revolution, the current Islamic Republic, established in 1979, has ruled over Iran as a Shiite Islamic theocracy. From west to east, Iran has faced many issues, such as the Afghani civil war in the east and western hostility to the Shiite way of life. With such hostility, Iran has cemented itself as a beacon of Shia activities in the Muslim world, with wide-reaching influence on extremist organizations, such as Hezbollah, who relies heavily on Iranian monetary support for continued activities. However, with rising tensions among the political atmosphere, the regime Jean's future is uncertain. Ultimately, if Iran is to survive, it will either have to cooperate on the global front with its neighbors, or it'll have to crush its opponents. Only time will tell what it chooses to do. Yeah, we're gonna have the Cold War in the desert go hot, to say the least. Iran, for anyone who has not seen it on my history channel where I talk about geopolitics a lot, is a very broken state. It has been so for many years. The entire region is composed of many different multi-ethnic tribes, which in turn are very divided and only bound by religion and the overarching authority of the state. It was the birthplace of the Islamic Revolution, but that revolution is something that specifically focuses on the Shiite variation of Islam, which is something that puts Iran at odds with basically all of its neighbors, as Shia Islam is a minority in comparison to the overwhelming majority of Sunni Muslims in the world, for anyone not aware of this. It is horribly corrupt. All of the people who actually have any kind of skill whatsoever have basically abandoned the country. Awesome. The people don't believe in their own government. I wouldn't guess why. But they've declared a jihad of construction. Oh my god, can I even say half the things that are going to pop up in this video? I have some concern. Essentially, no matter what it is that you look at on here, we're, uh, we're really screwing ourselves over. We got some pretty strong effects, but also horrible, horrible effects as well. Let's turn off the historical AI and let's jump into it now, shall we? But my friends, before we get back into today's episode, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Factor. For anyone who doesn't know what Factor is, it is something that has probably saved my life. As you can probably see, I'm standing here in a kitchen that is not exactly complete. I ignore that. We had a flood in the house and it completely destroyed everything, which meant that for the past two months, I haven't had a kitchen. Luckily, with Factor Never Frozen Meals, this means that I didn't have to actually worry about it, nor make myself sick for two months eating just fast food. This means I could get fresh, never frozen meals that were absolutely delicious, whether it was keto, calorie smart, vegan, whatever it is I want, I have it. I mean, the stuff literally takes two minutes. Just pierce the film in it, go ahead and throw it in. Dinner. Peel back the film and enjoy. My personal favorite that I found in here so far is the turkey chili and zucchini, because honestly, considering I sit at my desk all day, it's good for me to have something lighter. I know that I'm obviously having to say this here as an ad, but genuinely, Factor actually saved my life these past two months, and I genuinely think that it could help you as well. So go to Factor75.com and use code STAKUYI50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your second. Do it, because honestly, this is, this is actually really good. Here we are, Iran, 1st of January 2000. We have a very large military. Oh my god, how many soldiers do we actually have in this scenario? 57 different divisions. That is a massive military. We are, oh my god, we are currently losing so much money. Thanks, Iran. Couple that, we have absolute, oh my god, horrible research effects. Oh, oh, that's great. And what about our economy? For this besides the losses we actually uh, we have a decent number of factories i actually didn't anticipate that to be the case Okay, well, at the very least, as a Middle Eastern state, we do actually have a decent amount of oil that we produce, which is something that in turn can be exported for profit. We actually have a decent amount of things, and playing this here, you know, my end as well, secure oil for the true faith. <clears throat> God, the fact that I'm doing any of that and saying any of those things, and the fact that the majority of Muslims in the world are Sunni, means that no matter what I say, I'm going to end up getting downvoted here. It's just memes, guys. It's just memes. Lord help me. Still, the fascinating thing about Iran is that in comparison to when I played the game as Iraq, which has a a pretty minor focus tree, all things considered. Like, this is all that we have. There's some basic ideas here, but it's, it, this is the generic focus tree in Millennium Dawn. There wasn't really anything that was special about this, except having access to the Gulf Cooperation Council. Iran, though, on the other hand, oh my lord, this thing is massive. The focus tree just goes on and on and on and on. Oh my god, this is huge. It just keeps going. And all of these focuses are based around different kind of political paths that you can choose. Like, if you want to continue with it, 
weapon, Iranian Revolution 2 Electric Boogaloo. This is going to in turn allow you to go down the path where you could flip to democracy. You could go down the path of going communist. You could go down the path of, uh, oh god, I don't even know what else is in here. There's so many things. Iran has so many options. Like, if we wanted to go hardline religious, restore order, this is something that allows the Revolutionary Guard to take control. That is fascinating in and of itself, but in my case, I haven't really fully decided yet here. Um, I can launch the Year of Blood, which is going to turn everything into another revolution, or I could try to actually stabilize the country here and fix things with the uh, third development plan. Yeah, I, um, I think we're gonna go with this one here. Research-wise, we are super far behind on everything, which means it doesn't really matter. We have to try and get ahead of time as much as possible or catch up, and to that end, we're going to need to research things as quickly as we possibly can. So as much production, as much everything as we can possibly get, we have to get. Oh my god, it takes like 500 days to do literally anything. Ah! Ah! Okay, how the hell do I even get rid of this? Oh, is the brain drained. Right, okay. I have to have a higher education. 20,000 GDP per capita and have completed the focus, slow the brain drain. Oh god, where do I even get that? That's all the way here at the bottom. Are you shitting me? Oh my lord, this is gonna suck. This is going to really suck. Okay, well, we're going to need a decent amount of factories and everything here from the very get-go, but I'm also gonna need fossil fuel plants, so let's just get our basic construction going. I'm not gonna build anything from military equipment wise because I can't afford anything in the first place, which sucks. And half my army, maybe, select all these and, oh god, just delete them. Just delete them. I don't care. I gotta keep some military units to protect myself. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this thing. So what is this political system that the Iranians have? The Majilis is our nation's parliament and they dictate what laws come and go, meaning that they can often go against our known need. The Majilis can be in one of three states at any time. Free, which means that we don't have direct control over them. Influence, which means we have some control. And puppet, which means we have total control. Majilis may withdraw its support from the government if we reject certain proposals. Oh my god, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna have to balance all this too while still trying to maintain some political power. Okay, great. Iran gets a parliament system without any kind of economy like the United States. I love it. I love it. So, okay, we got the reformers and the principalists who are in power. We need to try and reform our country before we do anything here, I think, right? Because I need to develop my economy. I'm able to utilize the Iranian president in order to be able to develop myself politically and also economically. That is something that is interesting. Also, if I can get influence over Iraq because of the Iran-Iraq war, this is something that allows me to, oh my god, actually get billions of dollars. Get two billion a week? Really? That is insane, actually. It is really interesting that we as Iran have counter-terror operations that we can do. Um, can we, can we, can we do the reverse? Okay, well, before I do anything, since I can't apparently destabilize the rest of the world until I somehow stabilize my own freaking country first, which apparently I'm spending all that money on welfare in the first place, which I don't see where that's going here in Iran. We're gonna need to fix this stuff. Um, the third development plan. In order to correct, improve, and reform the administrative system, the dimensions of organizations, we will use the plan, but what chart part should we focus on? Uh, industry focus, science organization, well, a little bit of research, but it's a very small bonus. Military organization? No, we need a tax cost. Yeah, yeah, we need as much money as possible. Okay. Immediately, oh my god, access to persist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, fun Shia militias. Oh, my God. I actually can do this. Okay. 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 Huh. Mm, 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 mm. I, uh, don't know how I feel about this. Okay. I'm going to be horribly in debt. I can't do literally anything, so we need to fix things. And what fixes a medieval economy more than getting more oil? Add IMIDRO, which grants resource gain efficiency plus 20%. Ooh. Ooh, that is really strong, actually. More oil. I do find it interesting how you can support each one of the individual regions within Iran, but you can only choose one of them to focus on, and that is going to give you a different type of material. Like, this will give you copper, this will give you aluminum, these two will give you oil, which, why would you go with the one that gives you seven when you can do the one that gives you ten? This one is steel. Huh, this is actually going down a more isolationist side with Iran first. Interesting. Whoa, whoa, wait, phase two. Mediterranean, Mediterranean, What the frick? Hold up. Iran? Super? Economic? Oil? Superpower? Let's make a gas company, my friends. Just like America, I am plagued with two things. Buying off politicians through lobbying, and people constantly asking for money when I can't afford it. Angels passes motion to increase pensions. No. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Buddy, that's literally where the majority of our stuff actually goes to. No. No. Yes, please, Russia, invest in all of my territory. I, I will gladly take it. Thank you. Yes, please. I'm 
I'm really going to be hurting a lot here. Oh my god, my debt is just climbing higher. I can't. Dude, this has even been a year. Okay, we've added on like a hundred billion dollars to our debt. Bruh. And I'm only making it worse the more I invest. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm finding something. Eros. What is this? Eros. Iranian Research Organization for Science and Technology. It's a comprehensive science policy research center directly attached to the Ministry of Science. Okay, wait, but shouldn't that be focusing on Islamic studies? Why? Why do I get DNA research and freezing of humans? What? Two words. Sipor soldiers. Actually, that was a typo. It meant to say super soldiers. But regardless, we could always test on embryos to make the most genetically perfect individual to force into the military. All this reduces the social spending cost that I would actually have. This is, this is actually incredibly valuable since that's where my biggest source of loss is coming from. And will increase my research. Okay, we're, we're going down that path. Iranian science board. Ho! Let's do it. Which, actually, on that note, since I'm losing so much money, start pension debate. Yes, we want to request less pension spending. 85% they'll accept. Yes, please. Spend less money on the people. Possible housing bubble. How? 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 I haven't done anything. Please, stop it. Okay, perfect. They lowered it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for doing so. That means I should be losing less money. Yes, only three billion. Don't look good. Oh my god. Hey, and I could force Iraq to pay war compensation that at least okay i'm gonna get half a billion dollars from iraq every week for almost nine years okay that is something that should at least help me not lose as much money as i am oh my lord check standards of food production it has come to our attention through the back channels that some factories may not be adhering to the standards placed by the ifda we must pursue these possible infractions to stop whatever maleficence we find okay reduce health care cost and increases population tax i will take it lord knows the big thing honestly let we're, we're gonna need to tax some companies i think that that's that's the biggest thing that we can do here from the beginning is just try to tax more stuff so that we don't have to pay nearly as much. Mohammed Katami, what the what? No, 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 hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. I don't want Western liberalism. Oh my God, no, that is not what I wanted. This guy was in here the entire time. He's a freaking snake. And let's see if I go down the export focus. That means the next Trans Albors pipeline, more infrastructure. That's great. And can I do anything? What? what? Oh my God, I just found the system that allows me to take over all the Middle East. Okay, so I can start coups. I. I could start against a coup against Saddam. <laughs> Ooh, okay. This would then allow me to unify all Islam. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna need to do that here and then solidify our place in the sun. But to do that first, we're gonna need to drastically boost up our economy. And to do that, we're gonna need the trans Wars pipelines. As part of the proposed natural gas pipeline to transfer Iranian gas from the Persian Gulf to European markets, the IGAT-1 gas line, which runs between Rashad and Tabriz, needs to be upgraded to allow for increased use until the completion of the IGA-9, which would directly connect the South Pars gas field to European markets via Turkey. Okay, let's do it. The eighth presidential election. After coordination between parties and influential people in our government, the necessary coordination to determine the candidates to confirm their qualifications by the Guardian Council has been completed and implemented. It seems the atmosphere of society is also excited about the elections. Let's see what happens. Wait, what? Here I am just trying to increase my taxes. What do you mean an election is happening? I just want to seize people's money. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so this is still increasing the pro-Western support here that we have that issue here. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So you basically have the hardline principle or the reformists. What are the differences? What am I seeing? Hardline Shiite revolutionaries refer to a spectrum of far-right and militaristic Shiite adherents who attest to the strict interpretation of Shia Islam. Oh, wait, and the reformists are the exact same thing. Wait, they're on the same spectrum, but the principalists have more support. Oh, God, I'm gonna have to spend my political power here, aren't I? Yeah. Hey, Katami won. Okay, so, yes, this is still gonna have the pro-Western support thing, which I don't really necessarily like, but it is going to help me with my economy here while we do this, and then maybe we can switch over to Hardline afterwards. I mean, after all, we just increased tax is to the point that we actually have a positive economy again. So that's wonderful. It's funny, actually. I just want to check my expected laws. And uh, yeah, we in Iran are spending way more on education than what people would re uh, like normally desire. Oh, I'm also realizing from this, if I wanted to, I could go with a globalized trade economy. Actually open up, open up Iran to the rest of the world. You know what? I'm not even using most of these resources. Sure, let's do that. Let's switch over to a trade economy. I'm exporting most of my stuff here anyway, right? So that should... Oh my God, that drastically increased my, my money. Yeah. Yes, 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 please. Thank you. Why am I losing so much of my fuel? Oh my god, it's from lack of oil. I'm trading away all of my freaking oil, aren't I? Son of a bitch. Still though, Iran is a great nuclear power, and it's safe for now. Wait, that's how the Avorian Civil War. Oh my god, Rwanda looks like cancer here. Uh huh. Uh, it turns out I cannot send intervention forces here as much as I would like to until world tension is at 15%. How do I get it to go higher? Greater Syria, and at the same time, the USC. Okay, yeah. Majil's passed motion to increase medical spending. No, no, uh, -uh. Uh, 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 oh. Ah, I don't want this. I don't want this. 
I don't want this. I can afford it, but I don't want it. No. Wait, has Bola declared? Why on Syria? Why Syria? You didn't do- What the frick, man? Would you calm the hell down? I could even join the war with them if I wanted to. Oh my god, I could actually do that. I could actually do that. Hold up. Do I dare? No. No. No, I can't. Let them let fight for a while, and then we'll we'll, we'll join in later. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll join in later. Because Syria currently has... God, how many forces do you even have? I technically speaking outnumber them, but still probably wouldn't be great for me. Wait, could you all even get access to over here? Do, can you can can you not do this? No? Do I not? Oh, I don't think I can get access through through any of this. It physically wouldn't let me. Nope. I, I physically cannot actually get over there. Okay, yeah. Glad I didn't join in on the war. Now, after a bunch of time, it's time to finally begin negotiation. Begin construction of our pipeline to Europe, who must first negotiate with the governments whose territories we'll be constructing and laying pipelines in. Yes, indeed. In this case, the safest bet is for us to go through Turkey here directly. That's going to be the best bet for us. Dalai Lama returns to Tibet in exchange for promising to remain neutral in political affairs. The Chinese authorities have granted the Dalai Lama relief to return to Tibet and take up a religious role in the region for the first time in a century or half a century. What the hell? I did not expect China to actually go and do that. Oh, wow, well, well, wait, are they going nationalist? What the hell? China, why are you looking at me like that? There we go, through Anatolia, and that means European energy agreements. Now that the route has been planned, we confirm the deals we had pending and perhaps search for more potential buyers on the continent. Change the number of battery pa pa parks by one. Randy and Treasury, mine a hundred billion dollars? What the f- Why? I don't need to have an energy agreement and then simultaneously everything get ready to explode. Thanks. It's okay. Before we go and negotiate our contracts, that means phase one Iran. Phase one of the Iranian domination. Wait, no, wait. Phase one of Iranian domination in Europe the Middle East was the cons construct of the IG-89 line to use natural gas sales as leverage, but a direct route to Europe via rail would allow for all types of domestically made products to pass into Europe more cheaply than via seaport. For this reason, we must construct a railway to weak directly to the western border to spread our influence. Hey. And people are liking it, it seems. Oh my lord, a stock market boom. Amazing. Yes. Please. Can I? Wait, no. Hold on. How do I not meet the requirements? Following a bypass does not exist? Oh, I'm What do you mean I haven't met? What have I not met? I don't know what I've not done yet, but I guess the Royal Dutch Shell Company is what we need to do to start producing more oil. India. India declared war on Myanmar. Wait a minute. I have not seen that happen yet. What, buddy? Buddy, what did they do to you? Why do you look so sad, Don Chue? Why do you look so sad? Wait, did that say that the United States achieved leadership over the Commonwealth? What is the common? Oh my God. Wait, the USA abandoned NATO. Did they? They're not in, they're, it's not NATO. What the, f what is this? Bush, what did you do? You're not, well, wait a minute. What the hell are you doing? This is not where any of this came from. Libya, what did you do, Gaddafi? Oh my God. Yeah, I would, I understand the look on your face there, buddy. No, Egypt declares, well, why would, why the frick, man? What is going on? Oh, they must've fallen into a debt trap. Yeah. That's probably what it is. They went to a deep debt. And then Egypt joins the Commonwealth. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, I genuinely don't understand what's going on. I'm even trying to look this up. Phase two, the Caucasus just straight up doesn't work. Like, it's not... It says that I don't complete the requirements or I don't meet them. But uh, it, 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 it's not true. That's we, Everything is at peace. This, this doesn't make any sense. Why can't I select phase two? Well, if I can't do that, maybe... Uh, nope, I also cannot do this because Hezbollah, my ally, decided to attack Syria. So great. No, no, Gabby, please. No, 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 I'm playing Iran, all right? It's not nearly as bad. Wait, yes, I know it's pretty bad. Listen, I'm an, I'm becoming an oil baron, all right? There's nothing to be concerned about here. I haven't sponsored anything bad yet. It's not ter- it's not terrible, Gabby. It's terror. I guess since I can't do anything, we just gotta build roads then. Love it. Yeah, that is, uh, that, that's pretty much as expected, but oh my freaking god, why? Okay, so since I can't do any of these, which is the thing that I actually need to apparently do things for normal domination, I guess I gotta go down the other path of other domination. Wait a minute, what do you mean Saudi Arabia is condemning me for aggressive actions? It's called capitalism. Deal with it. So, okay, with spheres of influence completed, what this means is that Iran is able to go and start influencing the nations around it and eventually perhaps stage a coup. Well, <laughs> Iraq, hmm. A minority Sunni government ruling over a Shia majority. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. I think not. Oh my god, I just realized how expensive all these are. Are you kidding me? These cost literally hundreds of billions of dollars if I did all of these. What the frick, man? Okay, I realize I'm spending all my money. And while I could definitely go down here and support the whole thing for uh, Shiite parties, we're going to need to build up a spy agency before we do literally any of that. Because otherwise, I don't think that any of this shit is going to work. Has he, buddy? Why are you trying to call me to arms? I can't do anything on this side here, but thank you. I will, however, totally 
agree with you on certain things. We're going to leave it at that. Bam, earthquake. Oh, my God. The shock is ma magnitude of 6.6. The earthquake is particularly destructive. And bam, with the death toll of at least 34,000. Okay. Declare martial law. Calm everything down. Please chill. Uh, I, 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 I don't, I don't know how Iranian these individuals look. Oh, yeah. See, that, that's, more, that's more like it. But what the frick? Now, Le Le Lebanon. Lebanon. Why? What are you doing? Why would you do this? No. Hezzy, buddy, no. You sweet, sweet prince. In the arms of an angel, far away. I can't even do that. Increase she influence in Iraqi Oh my god, I could have done that from the very beginning. Effects and removed. Iraq replaced Sunni with Shia. Hey, hey, wait a minute. I oh, spicy thing. Principalist win major. Oh, okay. Their formers were unable to win. Uh, let's see here. Yep, yep. We're probably gonna have to go hardline after this, I think. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hezbollah was puppeted, so they're no longer a thing, but I could still invite them. What the hell? So after doing this, I can still invite them. Will they accept? They join us. Wait, 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 wait. They joined. That freed them? Please tell me for the love of God that freedom. I hope. It did. Wait, they, they just left the fact. What just, what just happened? Oh, because they're nationalist, but that actually freed them, so they're no longer a puppet. Are you shitting me? Okay, we're gonna need to change that here. Thank you very much. Oh my God, there are so many things I can do down here on the freaking, on the freaking espionage side. Holy crap, Iran gets so many bonuses. Oh, whoa, wait, 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 wait. I can do this. Phase two, Mediterranean to Tirana, right? Now that the Westward Railway's construction must create a line to the Mediterranean coast and connect with our ally Hezbollah, this will allow us to send weapons to them without the interference of Israel, without needing to airdrop it. However, we still have to construct these rails ourselves and request permission from various government. Okay, so I guess let's do that then. In fact, oh my lord, wait, 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 Hezbollah. Oh, you have a big percentage here now. Manipulate politics, maybe? I mean, now we can attempt a coup and go ahead and do that. Please work for the love of God. Yes! Okay, that did work. Now immediately puppet them. I don't want them to turn against me. Please. Thank you. Thank you, buddies. Just predicted, hey, 11 odd accepts her offer. Excellent. Yes, let's keep on doing this. Syria accepts and Kurdistan accepts. Wonderful. With that being done, I guess maybe my previous thing glitched out and that's why I wasn't able to do it. Any of the devs are watching this right now, I think I think that phase two caucuses might, might be actually broken. I don't I don't know why. This thing isn't working. Either way, phase three, Europa. Now that we've consolidated our influence in the Levant, we can finally begin looking towards the southern European countries as an entrance to Europe proper. A proposed rail line through Turkey connecting our existing lines to Istanbul would allow us to spread our influence into Turkey, Greece, Bulgaria via Iranian exports. Wait a minute. That said that the Turks denied. They denied the railway. They The Turks denied the railway. Wait a minute. What the, what, what am I supposed to do now? What am, I, what am I actually supposed to do? Can I? I Okay, hold on. I can still keep on moving. Uh, um, uh, okay. Weird, but all right. It gives us the option to still move on, I, even though they denied it. What the hell? Why would you do this to me? Okay, with redirecting funds to the strait, that means I can fortify the shoreline, and after fortifying the shoreline, expand the dockyards, and launch the fourth development plan. Hey, let's get this going. Let's see with that. Now we can launch the fourth development plan, because in contrast to the third development plan, this is the first four-year plan we have planned out. Just though I didn't actually plan with any of them. And the 52 major objectives covering everything from cultural, scientific, and technological affairs to social, political, defense, and security topics and also foreign political and diplomatic relations as well as major economic imperatives we once again need to focus a specific aspect of this ambitious plan okay then for this one again hardline industry absolutely of course we need it and then i can start the islamic propaganda which will finally finally after five freaking years let me finally remove the self-depreciation idea thank you holy crap are you oh my god not again not again please no uh, housing prices had to come down oh my god that sent me to stagnation and the ninth presidential election yeah i'm sure that the people are not happy about this. The Islamic propaganda campaign. Islamic propaganda ensured the country's strength and progress will make our people lose the spirit of self-depreciation and they will be aware of the lies of the foreign media. They will see reality and be proud of themselves. Okay, sure, sure, buddy. In the meantime, we have to go after these corrupt officials, and after this, we can broadcast their trials on the media, which will increase the effectiveness of Islamic propaganda. Iraq declared war on Syria. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you all declaring war on Syria? Would you please calm the hell down? No, you're not. You're not doing that at all here. Let's say Syria was puppeted. It was, but how many Syrias were puppeted? Oh, my freaking God. Syria is part of the NATO faction. No, and they have their own little mini 
satellite Syria too. Bruh, bruh, why, why? Okay, and wait, wait hold up. Rust, Rust, Johnny one? The frick? Reformist one, how? How did, what? What? Oh no, the reformists actually control a large percentage of this. In fact, the principalists have fallen a lot. Okay, that could actually be a bit of an issue for me. I thought I was gonna go principalist. Oh my God, please, why? Why would you, no, come on, come on. Okay, good, it didn't, it didn't send me over. I went from an economic boom to almost a recession in the span of like a year. Well, now I think it's time that we uh finally have a little bit of fun with this now, shall we? After supporting the Shia parties within Iraq, that means I can launch a coup against Saddam. We can carry out a coup against this regime with the Sabran Brigade of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps in Baghdad, which is a 27% chance of the battle organization launching a civil war or 74% chance of it just succeeding because we have a stupid amount of influence here, I guess. Let's do it. Wait a minute. Why is greater Hindu? What do you mean greater Hindustan? Oh my freaking God. When did you become greater Hindustan? Hold up. India? Oh God, that's actually terrifying. El Hasht Asht Shabi, the popular mobilization force in Iraq state sponsored umbrella organization composed of approximately 67 different armed factions with around 120,000 fighters that are mostly Shia Muslim groups. Hey, that will do it. Did did Iraq succeed though? It oh, it did. Hey, hey, that means I can turn you into my puppet. Hey, thank you. And actually, hold on, hold on. Let's 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 cancel this. I don't need this anymore here, do I? No, I shouldn't have to do any of that. This has actually succeeded because the civil war didn't happen, which means I can just continue do this to all the other powers around me. Let's freaking do this, man. Syria, you're up next. Actually, wait, should I even say that? Okay, we'll worry about that later. Afghanistan. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh my god, that's so much money. Let's let's just worry about this side of the map for now. Yeah, we're just gonna need to dedicate a whole bunch of resources to Afghanistan. Resources that technically speaking, I don't really have, but we're gonna need to do that here anyway. Hezbollah asks us for aid. Ah, oh, buddy. Fine. Sure. Whatever. Sudan, again, you can't even calm down in our timeline. Really, buddy. Nor you, Ukraine. Okay, next up after this, with all this Afghanistan, buy, capture, equipment. No, we're going to aid Afghanistan. We're going to do this, and from that, that'll cause emerging to steadily build up. We're going to need to do that. Asia can- <laughs> No, come on. Don't do approach the West. I'm begging you. Please, chill. Oh, don't. Oh, come on. Please stop killing my agents. I, I need this. I need this. Stop. No, not again. Okay. Okay, this is, this is taking way too long, and they're still destroying all all of this. Thank you. Oh, God damn it. Iraq, why? Why would you- Iraq, why would you do this? Why would you declare on Syria? You just- Please, just annex them. Don't- You took it over, right? Syria was annexed. Syria was liberate. No. No. What did you- What did you- You just gave it back to this Syria? What the frick? Iraq. Oh, whoa. No. Hold up. That succeeded. Why did that succeed? That, that I only had like a 30% chance. You know what? I will take it. Thank you very much. Here I am going into even more debts, all in the name of taking over the world. I'm basically America. Yeah, no, I basically am America. It's collapsing housing prices. Again, thank you. Thank you a lot, buddy. Hey, could you, could you just calm down for like five minutes, please? And finally, oh my god, after years, years, years of this and so much debt. Oh my god, I plunged myself into so much debt completing all this. I can finally unite the Islamic republics. The earth indeed belongs to Allah, and he gives its inheritance to whoever he wishes of his servants. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> What is this? What is this border corporal shit? And what the frick is this? Tribal areas. What is, what, what is, what, what, what is this pox? So I get all of Afghanistan and Pakistan, except for whatever reason, these little tribal parts here. Okay, so that's something. Um, in addition to that, I got Oman down here, or Yemen. Yeah, you got that, got that. And Lebanon. Wonderful. You love to see it, I guess. So with that done, uh... <sighs> Well, let, let, let's let's consider being a little bit spicy, perhaps. Huh. I was genuinely anticipating a bigger jump, but I realized I'm the only one that's actually been building up an economy here the entire time. This is such bad border gore, though. Why does this even exist? Why is this a thing? The Arab-Israeli conflict heating up. Heating up? Wait, they already took out that, that place. Um, what is heating up? Oh my god, not again. Why? How? How did you do this again? Where? No, seriously, where? Again, the reformers, the liberals are winning. I don't know what it is I'm doing, okay? I don't know how, for whatever reason, a liberal Islamic hardline republic is somehow a thing. I don't get it. Oh my god. Did I just- To America- to, to, Get the fuck out of this! No, 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 get, get out of this! To America and beyond its own fucking toy story! <coughs> oh my god. It's a Toy Story reference? It's a Toy Story reference for Iraq. Why? Why is this a thing? With Iranian space marines better than the Polish ones? Fuck. 
Bro, I'd have to be playing this game to at least like 2035 in order to get anywhere close to any of this. Oh no, I'm now even experiencing radicalization. Me, as a Ron, who would have ever guessed? Wait a minute, no I'm not. Why the hell did I get that event? What the hell? Saudi Arabia declared war on Qatar. No, hey. Hey, hey, that is a cruel thing to do there, buddy. I don't think that that was very smart and or nice of you. As such, can I? Nope, I can't invite because you are Sunni. Okay, well, Saudi Arabia, I don't think I like what you're doing down here. I think that we're gonna, I think we're gonna start preparing for a war against you. Okay, we, uh, we, we definitely have the manpower for this now. Just, just, just saying. I could get so canceled for this. Nope, never mind. Italy is declaring war on itself. Totally legit. With that, I can either go after Turkey, which unfortunately is a member of NATO, because so that should not be a problem here. Um, or I could... Ooh, ooh, okay, yeah, I think I know what we're doing. Uh, this is not something I should be showing. Why don't we just antagonize them a little bit? Just see what happens. Uh, hey, don't mind us just planning a little bit of a sneaky here. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it at all. So this is now we who have dominion over the Levant. That is done. That is awesome for us. Great. And now that means it's time for... Oh, through our struggles, an opportunity to take the fight to Israel has come. It is time for us to cut the head of the snake, the weaving spider's nest, the source of our... I can't. I can't say it. I can't. I can't. There it is, my friends. The moment we've all been waiting for. I know. I know. Look, guys, it had to... There's sound in the background. There's sound in the background. I don't even know what it's saying. I don't, I can't, I can't. Just do it. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. All right. We knew it was going to happen. Oh my God. Uh oh, they outnumber me. No, they out quality me. Oh crap. Okay. Well, that could be a problem. I forgot. I have, haven't modified a single division. I don't know what I actually have. Quick, let's go ahead and withdraw back. Let them invade into us. God, are you not able to break in? How are you not able to break in? How? Oh my God. They have such high stats here. Okay. That, that's why. Baku is the second Israel. Why would that even be a thing? No, no. No, we're gonna we're gonna work against Turkey, I think. Oh my god, I've lost thousands of men already here. Yeah, this is uh way harder than I anticipated. Am I seeing combat with? Yes, I am, by actually quite a lot. Do I care? No, we're just gonna try and force our way through. We are the defenders of Islam, and I swear if I have to crawl over every single body inside of unnamed places in the Middle East, then I will do so. Alright, I think we need to start working on uh some alternative paths into here, because I don't I don't think this is working very well. I have already lost a lot more men than they have. Hey, there we go. Okay. Okay, okay, we finally managed to break through. Oh, Lord, that was, that was something, wasn't it, huh? And yeah, with that, <laughs> the Kuzis are. Prepare against them whatever you can of military power and war horses, awing thereby the enemy of Allah and your enemy and others besides them, whom you do not know, but Allah knows that. Oh my God, what the hell? War is, oh my God. We keep Jerusalem for now? Nope, let them have it. You know, let them, let them, let them have it. Yeah, we gotta. Oh God, there's gonna be a lot of comments in here about this. I'm, I'm, I'm very certain of that. Yeah, Saudi Arabia. It's um, it's time for you to go too. Thank you. Wait a minute. How many additional forces did they have here? Since when was Kuwait a part of this? Okay, hold up. Don't let them push me all the way back here. Come on, just overwhelm them. We should have quality, right? We should. We should. We're totally. We're the Islamic Republic. Of course we have quality troops. It's not like we've been behind for the last 50 years. Come on, there we go. Take the capital. Yes, please. And with that, go ahead and secure it. That means our supply line should be hopefully set here soon. Oh. Okay, all right, that finishes off that. Well, you know what? With that, I can take all of the freaking Middle East. The United Islamic Republic's rise. Which actually, I don't have enough manpower to actually support any of this. Okay, that could be a little bit of a problem here. Oh no, all my trade is gone. Wait, no, all my trade is actually gone. Oh my God, I was an export economy, which meant I went horribly to debt. No one is buying from me anymore. Oh no, oh no, I destroyed my economy. Everyone is embargoing me. No, but I have all the oil guy don't you want my sweet sweet oil america this is all your fault i blame you in fact mexico welcome to the axis of resistance it turns out you're gonna be exporting a lot more than just uh los drogas up north and they said there was insurgency at the border they had no idea it was this let's go my brothers we're invading through the southern border you like those iranian spy networks united states i'm glad your forces are spread out basically every way why did japan join the commonwealth no why did nigeria join the commonwealth why did any of you join the Commonwealth? What are you doing? No, 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 you're not. No, 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 no. You're not going to take me out before I take you out. No, I completely forgot they had a base there. No, 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 no. Please, you will stop moving. Please and thank you. Wait, Fritz, when did you join my war? And why are you getting killed by fucking... When did you join? Oh my God, it's not enough. It's... 
It's not enough. I can't. I can't break through. I don't have the forces. I didn't spend all my time puppeting things in Europe, so I can't do anything. I just managed to get Canada and Mexico, and it's not enough. Instead, they're murdering me. No, my friends, the great Islamic Shiite Republic of the Middle East that could combine everything, unite all the peoples, and fix all their differences. I, 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 I think it failed. Uh, I, I think, I think it actually failed. I don't think I counter this or do anything to this. Wait, did they just abandon the front? Why did you abandon the front line? Why did you be leave? I was giving my death speech here and you just left. Oh, no. America's actually counter-invading. They pulled out their troops so they could focus and wipe out all of my troops over here. No! Okay, no. See, I was giving my death speech and I thought, oh, I can make a comeback. I cannot, now I cannot make a comeback. No, I can't be Kim Kardashian in this scenario. No comeback for me. Well, my friends, this has been Stakui with another Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn playthrough. That was Iran. A focus and everything that is, oh my god, this was a horrible, horrible slog to try to get through. Interesting, fascinating in many cases, but also simultaneously horrible. I think I'm going to go ahead and end things here today. That is, I'm going to chalk that up as a defeat. There's no way I can actually recover from that. And I'm going to go ahead and ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comment section below what it is that we should do next. Give me your nation suggestion. Give me your mod suggestions. I'm going to be throwing things in that are a little bit different. I know that one of the things that have been requested heavily is the Magna Europa mod, so I'm going to be covering that. Either way, my friends, I will see you all next time, and hey, Allah save my soul, I guess. What do you mean Israel prepares for new election? I killed you!